Hey guys, Josh Nick here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to record demos in in uh, COD 4 uh, up to 1000 frames per second. It is possible to do 1000 frames per second, but it is, in, in my opinion, it's pointless to record a demo in 1000 frames per second unless you're doing a Twixter. Well, it's not you're not you're not using Twixter, but like a Twixter um style um thing where you, like where you shoot and then you do your reloading and that and slow motion like that that's what that's the only reason I could possibly want to um record it in thousand frames per second. So here is the tutorial for all you guys hoping and wanting to know how to do it. Um, originally, uh, I had two methods of doing this tutorial. Um, one was with uh, Cinema 4D and the other was with motion, but um, I've just uh, been playing around in After Effects and of and motion, and th my original method of um, working with them in these two programs was crap, and I've just uh, I've changed it and it's a lot better than what it used to be. So um, let's just get into it. First up, you just want to uh, open up your Call of Duty 4 uh, game. Um, just follow through what I'm doing. I'm there's possible. I'm probably doing things that aren't needed, or um, there's probably other things um, you could do instead of what I'm doing. But this is what I'm doing, and this is what works for me. So this is what I'm going to continue doing. Um, I open mods and go to mod warfare, and then I just basically open up any um, any demo I want. Which um, basically what you need to do to uh, open a demo and uh, play it and uh, record in that you need to make sure that whatever mod you're running in Call of Duty 4 that, that there's a folder in that mod folder so for Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare mod there's a, a folder in there called demos and then inside you've got all your demos in there and then once you want, what you want to do now is uh, once you've got your Mod Warfare open you just want to um, open up your console, which can be opened by the button above tab and left of the one key, and then you want to just type demo and then the name of the demo, and I believe this one is um, this one. Start that. Um, there. Now, what you want to do once it's open. You want to quick uh, because this is a short clip. You need to um, open up your console and type in cl underscore avi demo, and what that'll do, it'll record it'll um, record your demo into an image sequence, um, and you just put in whatever number you want for your um, frames per second. So I'm going to do 500 frames per second for this one. So uh, cl avi demo 500, and as you can see, when you do that. Um, your COD will start to begin to lag or play slow, and that that's because it's um, playing that demo in um, 500 frames per second. And what it's doing is for each frame, it's taking a screenshot, and um, you'll find that it'll take up a lot of space in your computer very quickly if you keep all these screenshots for every uh, uh, what do you call it um, for every uh, demo that you're doing. But um, basically, yeah, it's gonna do. It's going to play through slowly, and where you'll find all your screenshots is in whatever mod you're using to play the demo back. You'll find a folder called Screenshots, and this folder, like at the moment, it's like 7 gigabytes. And if you um, look into here, you can see that it's like all the uh, screenshots from each frame. But um yeah, so basically once you've done all your screenshot, you've done your demo in that, um you want to just open up your console again, type forward slash cl avi demo, and then zero, and then as you can see it goes back to normal, and blah blah blah. So um, once you've recorded your demo using that, you just want to quit COD four, and in your screenshots folder, you just want to make sure that you've got at least a couple of thousand screenshots. That way you've know that way you know it's actually um done it correctly. And uh, don't need these ones because I've already done. I just did that uh that clip like just before I recorded the tutorial, so I didn't have to wait um, for the uh, demo to full record it. That all right? So now that you've got all your your screenshots for your your clip, 
You want to open up Apple Motion, and um, if you don't have that, you can either um, be a good little boy or girl and go out and buy it, or you could um, not not be like me. Um, yeah, because I didn't do this. Um, you can go and torrent it, and uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't do that because that's stealing, and stealing's bad. But um, yeah, so um, you just want to make a new motion project. Uh, make sure it's at 60 frames per second or 59.94. It doesn't really make much of a difference. And then you want to go to File, 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 and Import. And you want to go to your COD4 folder, wherever that might be. You want to go to Data, Mods, whichever mod you recorded your demo in, um, Mod Warfare. Go to your Screenshots bit. And then you just want to click here. Um, for the first one, that was just from the one we just done. But this is uh, the first uh, screenshot of that image sequence. And normally I believe because I've got just one frame from that one I've just done, it won't work as an image sequence. Yep, now we go. So now you've got uh, all the screenshots and you want to tick image sequence. And so just make sure all your screenshots for each, um, de uh, each clip or demo are separate. So otherwise this image sequence thing won't work. And then you just want to go import. And then there you have it. And you can see it, it extends past the timeline. And you just want to click on this uh, little uh, clock here. And just put this onto um, frames. And just increase this to say, I don't know, 4,000. It's, it's over the, it's too much. Like more than what we've got. But we'll need that to set. And you just want to bring this thing here. Which is, uh, I believe it determines the length of the... Uh, the the composition or project you just want to bring it to the end and you want to make sure you've got your clip highlighted and go to inspector properties timing make sure it's on constant speed and put the speed to 50% and then what you want to do is you just want to drag this thing over here hold shift until it snaps onto the end of the clip and then as you can see um, it's going to be playing through very slowly, like this, but um, that's fine, we want it to be playing slow. And uh, you can probably reduce the speed even more, but I don't see the point. Um, this is just what I'm doing. And once you've, got, uh, once you've reduced the speed and adjusted the length of the, the project, you want to go to Share, Export Movie, and you just want to leave the settings as they are. You want to go Next, say, uh, Render it where you want. Um, this is just for tutorial purposes. Uh, I'm put this in here. Let's just call it tutorial. And um, my original Cinema 4D method, which is slow and a waste of time, to be honest. Um, I don't know why I'm still rendering it out, but just to show you how much faster this is, um, this one has been rendering for 34 minutes, that one clip, and it's about. Uh, for six of the way through, it's just got that little bit more to go, but it's still will probably take about ten minutes more. Um, this is going to take you almost no time at all. Fifty-four seconds. That's about a minute and a half, two minutes, while I've got Cinema 4D rendering at the same time and After Effects open and screen recording. So um, if I if I had none of this going on, if I wasn't rendering anything, recording my screen, nothing, it would be done pretty damn quick. But um yeah, so once you've done once you've done that, you want to go into After Effects and you want to import the um you want to import that clip that you just rendered in um, motion, which would be this one. And as you can see it's only 60 frames per second, but that's all good. Because what we've done is we've recorded it um, in 60 frames per second but in slow motion. So then what we can do is uh, right click, go time, time stretch, and I believe it's about 7.5, it really depends on the um, on the clip and what frame rate you've recorded it in, but if you go 7.5 and then give it a RAM preview, a quick RAM preview, um, what, what's going to happen is when you play it back, it's going to be playing back at, at close to around about this, the, um, the speed it was playing um, as if you're playing it in the game. So we'll be playing at about real time, basically. 
But what this does, when you do that, uh, I believe it's time stretch, it's, it speeds it up or slows it down by whatever percent that you set it to, but it still retains all the frames in between. So what you can do now, if we just play this back, might lag the first time around. But see, that's basically, um, that's basically real time, there, like right there. What you can do now is um, import a song, um, say whatever, and uh, let's see. This one just because whatever and now what you can do when you want to sync just put that in um, my original method had um, syncing in motion like that was what was required except that was a pain in the ass and this is the way to work around it so now this is a really good way of um, being able to do this sort of stuff because now that what we've done is we've done that time stretch thing so we've sped it up to real time but now if we go to time remapping, I can go to say, um, actually, let's just not worry about the song to be honest. Um, if I get to the bit where, say, he um, gets this 5 and 1, say about there, you put a keyframe for time remapping, and then bring it to, say, there, put another keyframe, and then if we just extend this a bit, and bring that out to say there. If we make a ramp preview now, it'll play it in slow motion, but it'll play it in in the slow motion that we originally rendered it in. So, um, if you know if you know what I mean, it's gonna do it. If I play it back, it'll play it back in the slow motion that it was rendered it in. <laughs> Fuck, can't talk properly. It was rendered in. But, um, yeah, so I hope this has helped you guys out. Um, I can't believe I figured this out, this method out just before, because before my two methods that I originally had were both almost not worth your time doing, unless you really want to do some COD4 editing um, with this style. But, um, yeah, so I hope this has helped you guys out. And um, uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep checking my uploads because I will be doing some PC editing pretty damn soon because um, it is fun. It looks me. COD for PC editing is to me the best. Um, it just the quality, due to the quality, um, everything. It's just it's just a really. It to me it's just the best thing to edit because it's just got such a smooth frame rate. Um, you can do configs. You can change skies. Um, just everything about it is so much better than console, but I'll still be doing console edits. I just want to do these ones in my own time, where I can spend a lot of time on them, making them look good, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, just leave a like if you like this, if it helps you out. And um, just just comment, leave a comment just saying whether this tutorial is easy to follow. Because um, I've been doing, I've done a couple of tutorials, but I'm not sure whether I'm like... I'm good at doing them, like if, if you can find it easy to follow or if um, I'm doing something wrong, if it's too hard to understand, whatever. Um, just leave a comment saying what you thought about the, the tutorial. And um, yeah, thanks. See you guys.